today we shall discuss about performance of transmission lines introduction the important consideration in the design and operation of a transmission line are the determination of voltage drop line losses and efficiency of transmission line what are the parameters of transmission line resistance inductance capacitance of okay these three parameters are important okay why we find out formulas why we calculate okay why we need formulas there are two principles there are two principal reasons okay firstly they provide an opportunity to understand the effect of the parameter of the line on bus voltage and flow of power secondly they help in developing an overall understanding of what is occurring on a electric power system okay variation in parameters okay we will read about now classification of over transmission line that is over transmission lines are classified into three that is uh, three transmission lines the first is short transmission line medium transmission line long transmission line short transmission line when the length of a over transmission line is up to 50 km the line voltage is comparatively low 20 kv that means for usually normal distribution secondary distribution or primary distribution okay it is usually considered as a short transmission line due to smaller length and low voltage the capacitance effects are small and ends can be neglected in short transmission line only resistance and inductance will be considered capacitance will be neglected okay due to short transmission line length okay while studying the performance of a short transmission line only resistance and inductance of the line are taken into account medium transmission line when the length of an over transmission line is about 50 to 150 km and the line voltage is moderately high it is considered as a medium transmission line due to sufficient length and voltage of the line the capacitance effects are taken into account for purpose of calculation the distributed capacitance of the line is divided and lumped in the form of condensers shunted across the line at one or more points you can for the classes i'll say we will uh, calculate line uh, line losses efficiency voltage regulation of short transmission line medium transmission line and long transmission line okay long transmission line when the length of an over transmission line is more than 150 km and line voltage is high that is greater than 100 kv it is considered as long transmission line in this also we will consider capacitance for the treatment of a such a line the line constant constants are considered uniformly distributed over the whole length of the line in this we will use a rigorous method are employed for solution okay to find it to find out line losses efficiency and voltage regulation we use rigorous method okay important terms are voltage regulation what is voltage regulation no load voltage minus full load voltage divided by full load voltage into 100 or we can say that is vs minus vr what do you mean by vs vs is a sending end voltage minus receiving end voltage divided by receiving end voltage into 100 okay next is transmission efficiency transmission efficiency is equal to output divided by usually we will write efficiency is equal to output divided by input okay but what about for transmission efficiency receiving end is output okay sending end is input so receiving end power divided by sending end power into 100 now we shall discuss about performance of single phase short transmission lines the effect of line capacitance are neglected for a short transmission line you already read that in classification for short transmission line we won't consider 
capacitance you can see in the diagram only resistance inductance exist okay capacitance we will neglect i is equal to load current r is equal to loop resistance xl is equal to loop reactance vr is equal to receiving end voltage cos phi r is equal to receiving end power factor vs is equal to sending end voltage cos phi is phi s is equal to sending end power factor the phasor diagram of the line for lagging load power factor is shown this is the diagram from diagram oc square is equal to od square plus dc square what is oc square from vector diagram you can say that is vs okay vs square is equal to what about od od is equal to we can write it as oe plus ed all square okay open bracket oe plus ed close bracket square plus what about dc we can write dc as that is db plus bc okay next uh, vs square is equal to what about oe oe we can write i have written in note i have taken small triangle that you can see oe we can write it as vr cos phi r okay vr cos phi r what about ed ed is equal to ir okay next uh, db db is equal to vr sin phi r plus bc is equal to i xl vs is equal to square root of vr cos phi r plus i r whole square plus open bracket vr sin phi r plus i xl close bracket square we need to find out voltage regulation voltage regulation formula vs minus vr divided by vr into 100 sending in power factor is od divided by os vr cos phi r plus ir divided by vs power delivered is equal to vr ir cos phi r line losses is equal to i square r power sent output is equal to vr ir cos phi r plus i square r what about transmission efficiency power delivered divided by power sent output into 100 vr ir cos phi r divided by vr ir cos phi r plus i square r into 100 that we can approximate expression for the sending end voltage we need okay we can write it as here vector diagram I have written oc is equal to of is equal to oa plus af you can see the diagram that is equal to oa plus ag plus gf is equal to that we can write it as oa plus ag plus bh vs is equal to vr plus ir cos phi r plus ixl sin phi r next we can write it as solution in complex notation okay solution in complex notation this vector diagram vr vector is equal to vr plus j0 i vector is equal to i vector at angle minus phi r is equal to i open bracket cos phi r minus j sin phi r close bracket z vector is equal to r plus j xl vs vector is equal to vr vector plus i vector into z vector next vs vector is equal to vr plus i r cos phi r plus i x l sin phi r plus j i x l cos phi r minus i r sin phi r okay if we want in magnitude then v s is equal to square root you will get the second term under the root is quite small and can be neglected with reasonable accuracy so you will get v s is equal to v r plus i r cos phi r plus i x l i excel sign fire okay